My name again is Stacy Ludy, and I'm here from an organization called Make a Difference Wisconsin. And we're here to talk about your finances. You are on the brink where you're going to have to start becoming financially independent for yourself. I can promise you, you're all going to deal with money. So why not educate yourself so, so that you can be financially secure? It doesn't matter what you make, but it's what you do with what you got. Because none of us want to go to bed every day and wake up going, I hope I have enough money, I hope I have enough money. Let's just do a little planning. You might know a lot of the concepts that we're going to talk about, but we really need to dive into them. And the key to financial security is simply being aware. It's about being conscious of the choices that we make and a little bit of discipline. If you develop good financial habits, life doesn't end. You still have fun, but you've got these financial habits that are going to make you be able to weather the storms. We're all going to have challenges in our life, but let's not have money problems. Let's be secure. So we need to explore the world of money. Let's get started, but guess what? What I didn't tell you. It's your lucky day. I'm going to pay you just for sitting through this class. Sound good? You're all getting paid the same amount. You're welcome. Michael? Everybody got paid. Now, this is your money. You can do whatever you want with it. You can spend it. Sure, you can spend it. You might eat it. You can do whatever you want. It's your money. Maybe you'll save it. Take it home, put it someplace safe. Or if you want, you can bank it. This is the bank of Louie. If you choose, and you can do whatever you want, it's your money, any combination. If you want to bank some or all of your money, you can put it into a CD. This is just a small bank, and we close for lunch. So I'll give you about a minute to decide what you want to do. If you choose to deposit some money, write your name on your deposit and seal it up. A any questions? Can we put it in there right now? You can put it in there. Come on up. Bank your money if you'd like to. Okay, the bank is closed. Let's continue. Let's get into the guts of this program. The next concept that we want to talk about is budgeting. What is a budget? Anybody want to take a stab at what a budget is? Go ahead. Spending plan, essentially. It's how much you make, where it's going in the house, and how much you're going to put towards each area of the house's operations. Excellent answer. What else do we have to look at to have a true feeling? Go on. Um, your saving plan, how much you're going to save. How much you're going to save, that's, that's a good reason to have a budget. Luis? Uh, how, how much money you're going to spend. Yeah, it's not rocket science, it's, it's simple math. So a budget is a record of your income and expenses. It is a good way to plan to keep you from going broke. It's a good financial tool to have because it's going to work a lot better than going, I hope I have money when I wake up. So budgeting is the first tool that we're really going to explore. So here's an example of a budget. It's that simple addition program. We've got to add the green area. Where's our income coming from? We need to subtract the light blue and the dark blue is the result. Are we bringing in more money? than we're spending? Are we spending more money than we're bringing in? So in this example, this is John Doe's paycheck. And John Doe works at Walgreens, and he works consistent hours. So every two weeks, his paycheck is $250. You guys starting out, the most likely at this point in your life, your income isn't going to be a set paycheck. But just take one month 
and you record in the top green area how much did you make that month. Some of your money might come from lawn mowing or babysitting, a birthday check from grandma. But however you do your budget in the top, you want to say for one month, how much money came in? Then you need to look at the expenses. This is where it's very helpful to look at your expenses break into two categories, fixed and flexible. Does anybody want to take a stab at what the difference between a fixed expense and a flexible expense is? Go ahead, Duran. Fixed expense is something that stays the same, like every month it doesn't change, and a flexible expense is something that uh, may vary depending on how much of it you buy or you invest in each month. Excellent answer. A fixed expense is a constant. It's going to occur month after month after month in the same amount. I'll give you a hint. A fixed expense often has a contractual obligation behind it. Flexible expenses vary from month to month. So if you don't have enough money, maybe you eat ramen instead of steak. You have more play in your flex flexible expenses. So a budget, you simply, at the top, figure out what your income is for that time period. Then where did your money go? And what you do is, if you're spending cash, if you commit to making a budget for one month, think about the ways you spend cash. You either spend cash, so what you might do is anything that you buy during the month, put your receipts in an envelope. You might use your debit card. You need to collect every, all the expenses you had for that month that you want to do a budget because it's really a great tool. It's a snapshot of where your money's going to. So let's take and have you guys practice doing a budget because it is an important financial tool. So you have your papers on your desk. So turn them over. So you should have something, a career, salary, and expense handout, and a monthly expense worksheet. So what I want you to do on your monthly income and expense worksheet is we need to fig fill out the top part. How much income does your profession bring in a month? And you're going to get that information from this sheet. So housekeepers, look at the very top. You're all going to be looking at the top to see how much do you earn. These are real numbers based on the education that you've received. Now we need to look at expenses. And this is where you need to choose. Is it a fixed expense or a flexible? And we might get some different answers because we're all different. Do the best that you can and take everything in the dark bolded and put it either as a fixed expense or a flexible expense. And then we're going to have to add that up and just go down line item by line item. And it's OK if you have a little bit different answer. Your, your total expenses should be the same as your neighbor, but your classification might be a little bit different. Any questions? Can it also go by what's, what you need, like essentially need? So is it Deja? Deja brings up a good point. Um, she's asking about gas and trying to decide, is that a fixed expense or a flexible expense? So the question would be, if you didn't have enough money, and you knew you had to pay your rent or you would get evicted, and you didn't have enough money for gas, what might you do? Not drive. The public transportation. Yeah, a bus is probably cheaper than gas. 
So you might need, I would classify that as a flexible expense because that's the purpose of a budget. If you don't have enough money, what can I do to change my situation? Well, I can't not pay my rent or I'm going to be out on the streets. But I could make a change in my gas. I could ride my bike. I could take the bus. I could walk. I could ask a friend. So you're saying use opportunity costs as like part of your budget plan? Wow, what do you mean by opportunity costs? Well, it's like opportunity cost is finding the next best alternative. So if you're using flexible expenses and you can't afford something or you have to switch something around, it would be using opportunity cost. That's an excellent point for you to analyze. Where can I make changes? What's the opportunity cost? It's an excellent point. So let's finish up here. There's choices in life on your expenses. Those things with contracts, we don't have a lot of choices, like our rent and maybe our cell phone. But that is the purpose of the budget. If you find yourself in life, not being able to make ends meet or worrying where that next rent payment's coming from, this is the tool that you need to pull out. You don't have to do it every single month, but certainly when you're not making ends meet or if you want to save for something big, do a budget. I don't want to be one of those people that says, I just don't know where my money goes. I never have enough money. I'm afraid I can't make rent. You can be in control. And it's not rocket science, right? A little addition, a little subtraction. But you need to be aware. If you're aware of where your money goes, then you can start making the choices. The key to saving money, personal choices. This is the tool that helps you when you're in a bind. Because it makes you think about, gosh, how much money am I spending because I was just lazy. And if I took a little forethought and put my Gatorades, packed my lunches, that's $250 extra money in my pocket. I could do a lot with that. 